hello and welcome. So you join me right outside of Eager, Arizona. Um, I'm just coming back from a family reunion that uh, my wife and I were down there for, for her side of the family. Um, and I'm uh, actually heading back to Idaho. So I've got about a 15 hour drive and we're doing it in our Model 3. Uh, we're gonna, I'll be bringing all the stats and everything like that. Uh, we're actually heading over to the Holbrook uh, supercharger right now. And yeah, we're gonna charge up there and then head over to Flagstaff and kind of make our way back that way. Um, but yeah, I will, uh, I will try to put all the, the specs and data and stuff uh, from this trip um, in the videos and, you know, give you a kind of better overview of how, what it's like to take a, a, a road trip in an EV. I appreciate you being here, and, um, yeah, thanks for coming along with me on the ride. Mr. Moose, what do you think? So, I'm just looking here. Uh, so, we pulled in. Um, we pulled in with 36%. Uh, um, we've been here for about two minutes. And yeah, so we're at 45%. Two, three minutes we've been here. Um, it looks like we're going to be charging for another six minutes. Um, I'll probably, um, I'm probably going to wait until this actually gets up to about 20, 25% because it seems like, uh, this has been off by about 5%, um, every, every trip I've taken so far. And I, I don't know if it's because of the wind and stuff like that, or if it's actually just, this is off by a little bit. I think it's the wind, because we do live out here in the west and, and we do get some gnarly winds. That's pretty hard to account for. But so far it's been great. Um, and like I said, I mean, we pulled in here. Uh, yeah, it, we've been pulling a, basically 111 kilowatts from like 37%. 36% somewhere around there um, the whole time so yeah it's been been pretty well I'm pretty doing pretty well um, and like I said this is a this is on a V uh, V2 charger so we'll see uh, I think there's V3s in Flagstaff I we're heading towards Flagstaff so um, that's probably will be our next stop but Probably charge up here to, I don't know, close to, uh, uh, probably at least 60%. Um, we're gonna charge up to uh, at least this coming up to about 20, 25%. So 
I still am not trusting the, the getting in with like 10% battery, but um, I think the more and more we, we drive and the more and more we, we go and do trips, I think we'll, we'll get a little bit closer to that, so. the Flagstaff uh, Arizona Supercharger, but as you can see, we're at 27% and we're only getting 48 kilowatts. So I have a feeling something is wrong with this cabinet. Um, I noticed that pretty much everybody here um, is down on the far end. So I think I'm gonna unplug, see if there's a spot down there and plug back in, see if we get better speeds. So we're getting 66 kilowatts now. We I moved over to another spot. Unfortunately, this supercharger is pretty full. I think one of the cabinets is either weak or down. Because uh said down at the other end we were only getting 48 and I wasn't sharing with anybody, so we should have been gotten getting a lot higher than that. But right now I'm sharing with a uh, model Y over here and there's a couple Model Ys next to me also, so we're both pulling probably about 66 kilowatts now. But uh, yeah, so we'll, hopefully we'll only have to be here for about another 15 minutes and then we'll head up to Page, Utah. So we made it to Page Supercharger. Um, there's a quite a few people here actually. 
Um, we're pulling good speeds at 25% in the pack, so 142 kilowatts. Uh, we'll have to be here for about 20 minutes, which I think that'll be okay. And uh, yeah, so it went pretty well. Moose is happy. Moose, you happy? Yeah, you happy? Yeah, he's happy. So yeah, went well. Um, like I said, getting good speeds. A lot of people here. Um, cars running great. You know, we, uh, now we've, we've got still about, <laughs> uh, we, we have probably another, oh God, at least 10 hours. So probably be 11 o'clock by the time I get home this morning tonight. Yeah, that's what it's calling for. So, yeah, it, uh, but yeah, so we're going to charge up here, um, until we get in, so we get in, uh, I want to get into Beaver with probably 15 to 20% battery, just like before. And uh, we'll go from there. Moose, what do you smell? Moose. So we're down in Page, Arizona. And you can see the water level is really, really low in, in Lake Powell. I guess it's... Uh, what's going to keep on happening as everything starts getting hotter hopefully uh people don't start running out of water but you know maybe they'll wake up too so but the car's been charging for about 10 minutes we're just well i'm just walking the, the dog around so we can uh make sure he can go to the bathroom and stuff but yeah beautiful place Major Arizona, it's a beautiful area. There's 250 kilowatts at the Bieber supercharger. We got here with, I think, 21%. It said we were going to get here with 23. That's pretty good, though. That's pretty close. I was kind of hot running over the 
the mountains a little bit anyway. So Moose is still doing good. I think he's loving the AC. So, and now we're gonna start tapering down. Yeah, if you don't come in here, the charging curve, basically from 9% to about 25%, you'll see 250 on these, 23 to 25. Um, but yeah, it, it all depends because uh, it depends on the battery and how cold it is outside and things like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, still 214 kilowatts. You know, that's pretty damn good. So we're gonna hear it be here for about 25 minutes and then we'll be heading over to the Draper supercharger. And I think at the Draper supercharger, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna charge just enough to get to the Trentmonton supercharger and then charge up there and go home. Cause the Draper supercharger, granted it is a version three, um, is always busy. So they, they put it out there for a reason. Um, so I probably won't hang around there. It is a 12 stall, but I, I guarantee you nine or 10 of them will be taken up when I get there. So I probably won't hang around that long, but Well, we made it to Draper. We made it with 19% on the battery. Car ran great. I, and actually we got great efficiency. We got 241 watt hours per mile, driving at 80 miles an hour the entire way here. Uh, the car has been fantastic on efficiency. I, I've been really surprised at how good the efficiency is on these new Model 3s. Um, most of the Model 3s I've seen, they get anywhere from like 290 to like 310 well, the older ones these new ones with the the different batteries and the the heat pump man they're just fantastic so it's a great drive um there wasn't actually that much traffic coming through salt lake which i'm sure you kind of noticed on some of these so i'm gonna go plug in and we're gonna see how this goes but uh we should be getting great speeds on this and i think we're just going to go right to trentmonton instead of trying to go all the way home so uh let me go plug this in Yeah, it looks like it's ramping up. Let's see what we get. It's not real low in the pack, 20, basically 20%. So we should see 250 for a little bit, but not super long. It only goes to 250 to about 30 kilowatt. I mean, 30%, that's usually all, all that it does. 248. Oh, come on. Give us two more kilowatts. Oh, yeah, there it is. 250. Okay. So it did it. Like I said, once, once this gets to about 30% state of charge, it's going to start ramping down. But these V3s are awesome. They are nice and fast. And I love the fact that you don't have to share with anybody. You're not limited and they're water cooled. So when it's, you know, 94 degrees outside, like it is now, the charging cables don't get hot and everything else, they're really nice. Tesla needs to keep putting these things in and if they're coming out with a version four, get it out. Like, uh, I'm, I'm ready for 350, 400 kilowatts, you know, charging. You know, whatever the batteries can do, let's do it. Let's, let's make it as fast as possible.
I hope you guys are enjoying the road trip. Actually, it's it's been a pretty nice day. I, I was kind of surprised that this has actually gone real well. Moose has been a great, great puppy. Try to get him without the, the sun. He's just been relaxing in the seat the whole way here. So, well, I think I'm gonna try going and getting something to drink, maybe at that Jamba Juice over there, or maybe try finding something to eat. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hit, hit the road again and hopefully be home before midnight. So we made it to Tretmonton, I think is how you pronounce this. 30%, 29%, again, 145 kilowatt. I think we gotta sit here for 20 minutes, then we'll be on our way home. This saved us about 15, 20 minutes skipping, uh, doing the 40 minute charge at Draper and just skipping here. So that saved us about 15 minutes. Um, and I can top it off a little bit extra so I can drive a little faster on the way home. So, no, that actually worked out pretty well. I don't know how much uh, I'll actually record of this last leg, because uh, it's gonna be pretty dark here in, in a little bit, so I don't think you'll be able to see a whole lot, but if you can, or there's something interesting, I'll definitely shoot it, and um, I appreciate everybody watching this. Uh, like I said, this is just a uh, trip down to Eager, Arizona, uh, in a Tesla, but, uh, you know, it was an area where there's no charging infrastructure at all, and did pretty well. I, uh, am very pleased with it. It's been, been a great car so far, and, um, it's been real fun to actually do these trips, so, and I'm going to keep making videos of me and Brittany and the Mooser, uh, going on these trips, so, stay tuned um, I'm trying to put out a new video once a week um, if if I don't get out one every week I'll definitely get one out every two weeks so you know we're uh, we're traveling a lot so thanks for tuning in and if there's anything else uh, that's interesting on this trip I'll definitely add it in here